June 17th, 18th, and 19th, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Here's the weekend, you guys. And guess what? This is the funnest combination. Paul McCartney was born on, ready? Paul McCartney, June the 18th. That would be on Sunday we're going to celebrate his birthday. He must be old by now. Anyway, it doesn't matter because he wrote so many songs. Can you imagine how rich he is? The sun is in Gemini, and the moon is just two signs away in Aries. So it's fire, Aries, and air, Gemini. And when there's fire and air, you add air to the fire, and the fire gets bigger, and the air gets excited. Gemini, Aries, I have to say I was born with this. This is the funnest combination. They're like a little kid. That's come sometimes how I feel. And they have this incredible joy factor and they're energized and they're funny and they're funny and they're energized. <laughs> and guess what? Opposite right now, thank God, and I was born with this, is Saturn. It's almost exact degree. So we talked, talked about this a few days earlier. Saturn is the governor that pulls everything down. So even though there's crazy, if a baby were born crazy energy, it would be me. They would have this crazy, there's a Saturn going, you're serious and you're old. The thing about astrology is just because the sun and the moon are giving you a flavor, that's what we're talking about in these lunar forecasts. But there's other planets that are very influential. And Saturn, said Silverman, that's me, is the most important planet. Yeah, write that down. Saturn is your most important planet. It tells us what your life lesson is. So once a year, Saturn's opposite the sun. So even though sun is Gemini, wah, 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 Saturn's going, excuse me, can you slow down? Can you be focused? Can you make a point, Gemini, instead of just talking all the time? That's why in my work, <clears throat> I'm so interested in not just doing the blah, 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 because so much astrology is words and theories and ideas. You can get lost in the stars, have you noticed? But my job, said Saturn, opposite the sun, in these next few days this weekend, you can do this too, is to get deliberate and ask the hard questions. And put on, hey Jude, hey Jude, don't be afraid. I don't know the words. They told me to make them up. That's so Gemini. And the other thing going on during this time is not only is the sun in Gemini, Mercury's there with Saturn opposite, with the moon two signs away. Are you following all this? But it's a very energized time. It's a great weekend. When Gemini Aries is together, get outside. It's the middle of June, you guys. Let's go play. Play outside. Have a picnic. Give yourself permission to stare at the stars. This is a great opportunity. And by the way, the moon is opposite Jupiter. So if the moon is out, you can just imagine, you know, there's those apps on the phone where you can take your phone and just stick it up in the air. It's free and find out where all the planets are. And wherever the moon is tonight, you can be sure by the second day of this, Jupiter will be opposite because Jupiter's in Libra and the moon's in Aries. Where was I? Here it is. No, Aries was down here. I'm a little funny. I'm a Gemini. And Jupiter's opposite. And when that happens, if a baby were born with the moon opposite Jupiter, they'd be super lucky. That would be a great chart to have sun in Gemini, moon in Aries, Jupiter opposite in Saturn. This is like a perfect non-storm. <laughs> So I'm inviting you to enjoy this non-storm wonderful weekend where it's the, and, and by the way, we're headed towards uh, the equinox and I'm going to do a Facebook live on Wednesday. So for any of you that watch Facebook, it's a free entertainment by Deborah Silverman. You watch me do the da 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 because I am a Gemini and this is my birthday kind of sort of. So I, Astrology Answers wanted me to say to you during these couple of days, this wonderful weekend, the energy's up, tickly, perky. Why not go have some fun and give yourself permission to be a kid? You know, we get so old and serious, for God's sake. It's your turn to look in the mirror and go, you know what? I am going to stay young and I'm going to choose, said the Gemini. This is the theme. Ultimate theme of this month while we're talking is Gemini. Get up in the morning and make a decision that you're going to reinvent your fun factor. Right here on Astrology Answers. Deborah Silverman invited you to think about what's fun. Because it's so nice out. Get outside already. Turn off the video.